talking about? Well, again, I don't like to throw people under the bus, but mm -hmm. uh, let me just give you some examples without specific names. When given a choice between driving and flying to a conference to a remote area, and the choice is made to go ahead and drive, and it costs the taxpayers four times as much as it would have cost for an airfare, that doesn't make sense. Those are the kind of abuses that we need to get rid of. Uh, there's a good public purpose with regard to going to uh, legislative conferences because you can learn things that can help you run government better. I have no problem with that. But it needs to be the most cost-effective way possible and uh, not to just you know, create a vacation for yourself. Mm -hmm. Well, it sounds like on the per diem issues, you're basically calling for an end to per diem. I mean, I mean, I mean, uh, I mean you, like if someone lives at Capitol Hill Apartments, they would just be reimbursed for their rent at Capitol Hill. They're not gonna get, they're not gonna get a daily per diem of 100 and whatever. Day, the issue the issue is not the per diem. No legislator should have to dip into their own pocket to serve the public. Right. The issue is the $149 per day that is at this time in many cases uh, being accepted because that's the only way the legislators can be accepted for any. They don't have a choice. I'm saying let's give them a better choice and that is to have them provide receipts for any legitimate expenses that they have. You know, their lodging, their meals, their um, any of those things that are legitimate. Mm -hmm. Not things like movie tickets or whatever, but legitimate expenses. They are entitled to that as far as I'm concerned. If $149 a day is a fair amount, I'm fine with that. What I'm not fine with is having no receipt uh, to show that you actually incurred that expense. Because in effect, what it becomes is additional income for them, as opposed to a legitimate reimbursement of expenses. Um, if we have to address legislative pay later, then that's fine. But what I want to do is to fix a problem mm -hmm. that reduces public confidence in their elected officials, because uh, there are very few businesses out there, as an example, that would ever allow you to say, here's the here's the overall receipt for my expense without, uh, without specific receipts to back it up. And so uh, I know that as a, as a business person who has run pretty good sized businesses, it would be unconscionable to just say, we'll just give you $149 a day or any other amount without, without having a receipt to back it up. And that's the point.